Hello guys, what's going on? My name is Stone and welcome to my channel Accelerate. This is a channel we're going to kick your Excel skills into a higher gear. And in this week's episode, I'm very excited to bring to you the top five tips that you can use uh, while using tables in Excel. Right, uh, guys, just before we get into this, uh, please hit this little subscribe button down below for more Excel awesome videos. All right, so jumping straight into this one to our very first tip, creating a table with the nice shortcut control and T. So we're starting off with a little bit of raw data here. So if you've got raw data, uh, you can just click anywhere where the data is and we're going to hit control and T. So this will pop up the nice create a table shortcut here and my table does have red headers and I'm going to hit OK. So that was our first tip creating a nice looking table here in Excel quick and easy. All right, so now this gives us added benefits, not just for the aesthetic style, but for a few functions as well that I'm going to show you now. So now we're going into the second tip, which is formatting the table. So let's get into this one. So basically you can click anywhere on your table and there you will see a nice design uh, tab here which gives you the functionality to give it another style if you don't like the blue or you can go with any style let's go by default with the blue one so this gives us the functionalities and you can take away the branded rows as well the banded rows there you can take it away and which is also nice is you can highlight the first or the last column here so highlighting first column or last column the totals and you can give it a total row as well so as I just tick the little total row box up here, you can see there's a nice total that came with it. So now we're formatting tables. This gives us the extra functionality of let's say we've got an amount excluding tax here. So I'm going to just write here tax in E2, tax, hit enter. You will see it automatically includes the tax as well or the tax uh, column. And I can work out the tax. We can put in formulas. I'm only going to do this once. This is very nice. This is the functionality for the table. So the tax rate in uh, or the VAT rate in South Africa is 15% currently. So it will be this amount here multiplied by 0 0.15 or 15%. All right. Perfect. Right. So now you can also see it automatically pulled through the calculation as well, which is nice. And you can just drop it down this little drop down box and we can hit a sum and then we can also work out the amount including the tax as well so hit enter and I'm just going to complete it it's going to be equals this plus the tax there we go perfect so that work gives us the amount including and I'm just going to add in the sum as well here yeah, perfect so now guys as you can see, unfortunately, the column width haven't, hasn't changed here. So what I'm going to show you now is a nice shortcut that forms part of my tip too. So what I'm going to do is you see here at the top side here, we've got a quick um, toolbar here, a quick access toolbar. And I'm going to click on this little drop down here on top. And I'm going to go for com more commands. So the command that I'm looking for is here under all commands. And I'm searching for a auto fill or auto let's get to this one auto fit column width that's the one and i'm going to add it into my toolbar here just going to shift it here and i'm going to say okay so now you will notice this little symbol came up here so what we can do now is you just click anywhere on the the table that we've created you say control a that will select everything you just hit this little button and you'll see it automatically pulls through the nice column width as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change this one a little bit just for the video sake. But that was a very nice shortcut. Right, guys. So now we're going into our third tip, which is format cells within the table. So as you maybe already noticed, these are number formatted styles here, which is incorrect because this is a time value. So I'm going to show you the first nice shortcut. If you want to select the whole column here, you can say control and spacebar. So that will choose the whole column. And if you want to add in the title as well, you just hit control spacebar once again and it will choose the whole 
uh, column but we just want the values control spacebar and we're gonna change this to a time value so this was the last time somebody logged in uh, and then we can just say control shift and two and that will change the time very quickly we're gonna do it the same with the date as well so you can click anywhere in the date column you hit control and space boss selecting the columns or the uh, data in the columns you're gonna hit control shift and three for dates so that changes the dates quickly and now for the amount excluding tax and including tax we want a currency so you can hit you can highlight all the currency values you can say control shift and four so you'll notice it changes a r in front of the values because i mean from south africa we use rands so that changes my currency to rands if you're from the usa it can be dollars or from india rupees and so forth all right guys and that was our third quick and easy tip formatting cells within a table oh and just a quick one so control and spacebar selects the column so what if you want to select the row so that will be shift and spacebar and that will choose the whole row nice and easy all right guys so now we're moving into our fourth tip so this is a nice introduction to conditional formatting within a table so what we can do is we want to use this amount including tax as our totals and we're going to apply conditional formatting so we use the same we choose anywhere in the column with control spacebar and we're going to hit the conditional formatting so now we can highlight cells here and i want to use icon sets so the icon set that i want i want the largest amount to show green so this will be the second one uh, the second sorry it was the first one there that's the one so that means the largest amount will show green the smallest amount will show a red and we can also use the little filter drop down so that we can sort these amounts from the largest uh, to the smallest i'm just going to click here and that will automatically conditional format our data looking it looks quite nice and presentable as well right guys and now for the guys that's sticking around, we're going to go to our final most ultimate weapon in tables. We're going to use a auto form by utilizing the shortcut Alt, D and O. So what I mean about the auto form is the following. You can click anywhere in your, in your table. Remember, we need to click on the table to use this functionality. And we're going to hit Alt, D and O. So this pops up this very nice looking form without any VBA code. And now we can put in a new field here. So let's put in a next one here. Let's go with a, let's say we're going with, uh, let's go with uh, Yaku. The last time you logged in was 0820 or 40 and then also there we go 40 and in the last date that he logged in was the 5th of august or 5th of october 2020 and then the amount that he paid was 200 and we can just hit enter and there you'll see it automatically puts in yaku with his Log time that he logged in with his date the amount and it already works out the tax and the total and in conditional formats this as well very nice functionality you can also search here so your criteria let's search for my stuff my name is stone and hit enter We're gonna find the previous and there we go there's all my data quickly so and you can also delete as well so i'm going to delete my stuff okay and here you'll see deleted my entry there and we can also filter this once again from the largest to the smallest to keep that conditional formatting flowing so guys there was a very nice quick and easy uh, top five tips while using tables i really uh, hope you enjoyed this please share this with your friends and with anybody else that loves excel as much as i do from me, from Accelerate and Stone, cheers.